fishing trip in Virginia is well worth your time and your dime. Whether you're fishing in the Chesapeake Bay, Potomac River, or Atlantic Ocean, this state was made for anglers. However, before you set the drag and cast your first line, you'll need to pick up a Virginia fishing license. In this video, we'll address some of your most common questions regarding getting a Virginia fishing license. We'll go over who needs one, which type of license you should get, how to get one, and more. But before we dive in, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons below to stay up to date on all the latest fishing videos. And if you're looking for information on any neighboring states or anywhere else in the US, be sure to check out our licenses playlist as well. So who needs a fishing license in Virginia? The short answer is everyone who is 16 and older, regardless of whether you are a resident or a non-resident. However, there are some exceptions to this rule. You don't need a license if you're fishing on a saltwater charter boat, fishing on private lands that you own or have the owner's permission to fish on, a resident active duty member of the armed forces on official leave, a Native American living on a reservation, or a resident member of a recognized tribe fishing in freshwater, if you are legally blind, aiding a disabled license holder, older than the age of 65 fishing in saltwater, or of course, if you are under 16 fishing in either freshwater or saltwater. If you don't fall into at least one of these categories, that means you need to have a fishing license on you at all times while fishing. You can have an electronic copy, printed paper, or annual hard card. And you're required to show it to any officer who may ask to see it. Okay, so now you know you need a fishing license, but which one should you get? There are many different types of licenses available based on things like where and how long you want to go fishing. The cost of your license will vary depending on whether you are a Virginia resident or not, as well as the length and type of fishing you wish to do. To qualify as a Virginia resident, you must be at least one of the following. A bona fide resident of the state for at least six consecutive months, a permanent resident of the state for at least two months, a legal voter in Virginia, a member of the U.S. Armed Forces residing in Virginia on active duty or stationed in the state, a student enrolled in a bona fide Virginia school, or an unnaturalized person who owns real estate and has lived in Virginia for at least five years. As a resident, you have as short as five-day licenses to four-year licenses available, and you can get them for either freshwater or saltwater or even a combination of both. The cost, of course, will depend on the length and type of license you get. There's also a variety of special fishing licenses that you can buy if you're a Virginia resident, depending on your specific needs and circumstances. For example, you have a sportsman license that allows you to fish and hunt in freshwater, a tidal boat fishing license, which is a special combined sport fishing license that gives boat owners a license to fish in saltwater and freshwater within the borders of Virginia, a discounted license for residents over the age of 65 fishing in freshwater, a trout fishing license, and more. If you're a non-resident, you still have all the basic fishing licenses available to you as a normal resident, I'll bet at a higher cost. Additionally, you also have access to a single day freshwater fishing license. However, if you plan on doing both hunting and fishing, you'll need to buy those separately as the combination license is reserved only for residents. There are other special types of fishing licenses that are available to both residents and non-residents, such as lifetime licenses. Just keep in mind that there are different types to choose from depending on whether you're a resident or a non-resident. You may also want to pay attention to whether or not the specific fishing trip you had in mind requires any additional fees. For example, when fishing on national forest lands, you'll need to get a national forest permit in addition to your fishing license. If you plan on fishing in a state forest, you'll need to get a state forest use permit. If you plan on keeping shad, herring, or mullet, please note that you'll need a county dip net permit as well. And last but not least, fishing at Clinch Mountain, Crooked Creek, and Douthit State Park will require you to get a daily permit in addition to your license. For more information on the different types of licenses available in Virginia, as well as their full price breakdowns, be sure to check out our full blog article linked in the description. 
Keep in mind that these prices may change from year to year. So it's also a good idea to check on the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources website before purchasing your license. And speaking of purchasing your fishing license, buying one in Virginia couldn't be easier. You can purchase one online at GoOutdoorsVirginia.com or by downloading the mobile app on your phone. Just create a customer account and you'll see all the different license types that fit your age and residency status. You can also get your license by calling the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources during their regular business hours or in person by visiting one of the many licensed agents around the state. And if you lose your license, you can easily get it replaced. Just head over to GoOutdoorsVirginia.com, select Manage Your Account and Reprint. It's that easy. Another way to do it is by visiting a retail license agent or by calling the headquarters office. A great benefit to having a Virginia fishing license is that there are a number of reciprocal license agreements that the Commonwealth has with a few of its neighboring states. For example, there are certain places along the Virginia-North Carolina border such as Bugs Island and Gaston, Blue Ridge Parkway, and the New River where both states' fishing licenses and permits are honored. Similar reciprocal license agreements exist between both the District of Columbia and Maryland for a number of sections of the Potomac River, including a number of its tributaries. If you're living along the Tennessee border, there's an additional South Holston Reservoir license that you can purchase along with your regular freshwater fishing license that allows you to fish in the Tennessee and Virginia impounded waters of the South Holston Reservoir. If you'd like more information on reciprocal fishing license agreements, you can head over to the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources main website and search reciprocal license agreements. So just to quickly recap everything you need to know before you buy your Virginia fishing license. Everyone 16 and older, resident or non-resident, must have a valid fishing license on them at all times while fishing. There are a number of exemptions that exempt certain individuals from needing a fishing license, such as fishing on a saltwater charter boat or on privately owned land and many more. There are many different types of fishing licenses available to both residents and non-residents based on specific needs and requirements, such as where, how long, and the type of fishing you plan on doing. The same types of licenses are cheaper for residents than non-residents. And residents also have access to hunting and fishing combination licenses that non-residents have to buy separately. However, non-residents have access to a cheaper one-day fishing license that isn't available to residents. And last but not least, you can buy a Virginia fishing license online, by phone, in person, or by downloading the Go Outdoors Virginia mobile app on your smartphone. And that's about it. We hope we were able to answer most of your questions regarding getting a Virginia fishing license. For even more information on license types as well as full price breakdowns, be sure to check out our full blog article by clicking on the link in the description or just drop us a line in the comments. And when you're finally ready to start planning your trip, head over to fishingbooker.com or download our app off the Google Play or App Store and book a Virginia fishing charter today.